Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brandon Hodge second channel. I'm so happy to see you here today. Remember, if you're new here, or you're, if you're here at all watching this video, because not too many people actually know to click over and watch these videos, if you're here, let me know in the comments. I love reading guys' comments. Uh, but basically, this is my second channel. I'm uploading some extended uh, vlog uh, versions of my trip. Also, there'll be exclusive content you can only see here on the Brandon Hodge second channel. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. That's my first message. But ladies and gentlemen, this is day number five of my trip. This is going to the Money in the Bank Super store in the MGM Grand in Las Vegas and I hope you guys enjoy. I look like Bob the Builder or something in this but uh, I, I had to get the shirt from Walmart because uh, yeah I didn't pack enough tanks and uh, it is very hot out here but anyway ladies and gentlemen uh, today is the second saddest day for an entire trip. <laughs> Why are you smiling? This isn't funny. <laughs> this isn't fucking a good matter. Today we are actually leaving California. I'm leaving California today. This is the saddest part of, second saddest part. The, the, the number one saddest part of this entire trip is when we have to go home. But the second saddest part is leaving the state of California to go back to Nevada. Because here in California, it's, it's, it's nice. It's like 70s, 80s over in uh, Las Vegas. It's like, what, 107 degrees today. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a lot hotter over in Vegas. And I gotta go back in the heat and kind of wait around for money in the bank to happen. Uh, here today, and today is uh, Thursday, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over there. I heard they're doing a Superstore this year for Money in the Bank, which is kind of odd in the MGM, so I want to go check out the Superstore, so I guess that's what we're going to do when we get to Vegas. So ladies and gentlemen, going from California back to Las Vegas, Nevada, here, here we go. actually on the most famous driving road, the most historic or driving road in all of America. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Route 66. This definitely looks like Route 66 because it is Route 66. The most historic road in all of America. The mother road of the whole country. Here it is. Okay, this is way better than the interstate. Like, this view is way better than the interstate. Why would anyone just, just take the interstate the whole way? You have all this beautifulness. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe I found one of these. These are like the plaques that are so hard to find. There's only a few of them in all of Route 66. And I've actually found one. I'm, I gotta get out when it's clear here. And to do a bit of vlogging because this is such a rare event to actually find one of these plaques. Let's check this out. Route 66, I'm standing on it now. That is the placard. And I gotta get out of the road before I get hit. But... And I am beyond thrilled. I was actually able to find one of them. That is so cool. Route 66, this is it. The road of America, the mother road. Right here. My God! Wow, how cool! I'm literally going there now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have now made it uh, to Las Vegas. I'm actually at my hotel here in Vegas. Now look at that picture, that picture's cool. Anyway, now is a good time since I'm just here resting after that drive. And now is a good time to actually show you the things I was able to pick up in California, like merchandise-wise, is what I got. I got uh, the, the five. The Interstate 5, which is like the most popular interstate in, in the most populated interstate in all of California. I got that. I also got this Hollywood license plate. And I got some magnets to go in my fridge. I, I, I literally, I literally looked everywhere for just a magnet that said Disneyland on it. But you can't find a magnet that says Disneyland on it. That's too much to ask just to have a basic magnet that says Disneyland. The closest thing I found was this that says California. They have plenty of, of, of like individual characters and stuff, but they don't have one that says actually Disneyland California on it for some reason. Uh, also other magnets I got, I got uh, this one on Route 66 actually today, right off of Route 66. Uh, I stopped at a gas station, they sold this. 
How cool is that? And then I got a California state magnet. And I got actually a Los Angeles license plate magnet, a little tiny one. So yeah, I got a few cool things. I try not to get anything giant because I, I pack very light for these trips. I just use a backpack. I don't actually like have big suitcases and stuff. Uh, but if I do find like a cool shirt today over at the uh, Money in the Bank store, I will get it. Uh, and that's kind of why I, I got things so small in California is to go to the Money in the Bank store here in a minute and actually uh, find uh, something a bit larger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm gonna go over to the MGM Grand Hotel Casino deal and check out this Money in the Bank Bank Superstore. Ladies and gentlemen, I just now parked here at the MGM Grand Casino and Hotel Parking. I have, uh, I can park here for one hour for free, but this place is giant, so I don't know if I can get through it and get to the store where I need to go and back out within one hour. But I'm gonna try my best, because it's like $15, I think, just for one hour here. So let's, if you get over the one hour, so hopefully uh, it's not too far after to walk here, but this place is massive, and let's take a look here. I wouldn't call it a superstore, it looks kind of small, but we'll kind of see. I want to go in the store now. Here's a shot of Brand Manager from the King of Vlog style. Here at the Money in the Bank Superstore, let's check it out. Oh, this is tiny, it's just like a pop up shop. Not really like a superstore. So then they have the Money in the Bank Vegas, Vegas 2022. I was there thing. Like I have the uh, I have the gold briefcase, like the metal one. These are the plastic ones, I'm sure. Um, they do have like these. I was there little frames, which are cool. They're cool. I mean, this is all a, a marketing money gimmick, but they have the cups, which are cool. I kind of see what all they have in here. They're kind of getting more merch than they had last year. Here's the Money in the Bank Vegas. I was there. Is the plastic one, of course. This is actually not a sticker. I'm surprised, because I had one of these before and the sticker came off. The mini title, Money in the Bank mini title, that's cool. We got the Lily dolls. These are like the most popular item with the little girls and stuff. Brand new Cena shirt in here, came out on Monday. They have the replica titles if you want to spend a fortune. They have the I Was There Money in the Bank shirts. I was hoping they'd have a jersey, but I guess they don't. They have, they have, they have, they have hoodies, they have different shirts here but no actual jersey it would be like a first if they ever did a jersey for this because they only did it for the big four um but they do have some cool stuff in here nonetheless it is a very small little setup here though anyway they got little lunch boxes those are the lunch boxes they're not like the full-size little vinyl guys i guess it's the back of it. it's like a poker chip All right. is that the official shirt i don't know if it's the official shirt this one this is vegas 22. now they don't say MGM on them, I've noticed. I was worried that they might say Allegiant Stadium still. I was there. So they have a few different like official event shirts. These are $35. Little bear, which has nothing to do with Money in the Bank. It's just a WWE bear. Pretty much it, that's pretty much the whole store. I just noticed they don't even have official Money in the Bank programs. They just have like a WWE house show program. Uh, they do have a few custom items, but most of this is not custom. It's just like WWE shop stuff. Hey guys, gentlemen, just now left the uh, Money in the Bank Superstore or whatever, the little store, a little pop-up store, whatever. I spent $86 because I have a few things and I'll show you as soon as I get back to the hotel here in a moment. Jeb and I'm now back to the hotel room here and here's what I actually was able to pick up at the Money in the Bank Superstore today or pop-up store if you will. So first off I got this Money in the Bank shirt because I thought this one looked the coolest from the front. Some of the ones on the back I liked better. I really don't like the back of this one too much. It's a little basic. I mean it's not horrible. It looks like kind of like a jersey kind of deal. It says Vegas 22. is isn't horrible but the other backs I kind of enjoyed a little more. But the front is the main deal because that's what is the, is the main part of the shirt. So I, I do like that when I get that shirt. Of course that shirt did run me. 
$35, so I got this shirt. I got actually a hat, a stamp back hat right there. That's beautiful, it was a $25 hat. I got this cup, $5 cup, beautiful cup. And I also got this, this is a unique item I've never seen. Since we're in Vegas, we actually have a poker chip here. It says Las Vegas, July 2nd, 2022. Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, meaning the bank on the back actually has the logo. So all those items I just showed you with tags came in a grand total of grand total of $86.70. So I was hoping they would actually have a jersey, but they usually do for only the big four. I just thought, this is they were trying to make this one a big one, put it in the stadium, they might do a jersey, but no jersey this time. Uh, unfortunately, I had budgeted about $100 for the Superstore, only spent 86, so I counted it as a win. I wasn't planning to get all this, especially this freaking $15 poker chip. I put it back in this case, I actually didn't know it was in the case, it's a, it's a metal poker chip. So $15 for that's probably, I, I, I don't know. It, it is metal. It's cool, but it's it cost that much to manufacture. Now they probably make this for like five bucks. But anyway, uh, nonetheless, I, I enjoy everything I got. I'm gonna look cool going into money the bank. Uh, so yeah, that's what I actually got at the superstore today. So there you guys have it. That is actually my experience shopping at the uh, the Money in the Bank Superstore, as well as my experience going uh, from uh, California, Los Angeles area, back over to Las Vegas. Uh, there's quite a lot of traffic, surprisingly, because I remember when I, I did that route before when I was like 16, and there was not that much traffic, but I guess it's becoming a popular route. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this vlog. Hopefully you guys found it enjoyable, and you're digging these extended versions of the vlogs. Uh, also, there's going to be exclusive stuff you're only going to see here on this channel. This isn't just going to be like extended versions of like main channel stuff. This will be be like exclusive content coming up here soon uh, but i really appreciate everyone for clicking over and subscribing and everything let me know you're here in the comments really let me know down below but ladies and gentlemen i'm your king of vlog style brandon hodge and i will see you guys in the next video